bang, Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we're gonna go through some budget bangers. Some really good budget knives. Now, I don't really have a, a price range or anything, but they're all gonna be under $100 for sure. And these are the Sen Cut button locks. In my opinion, the best button locks you can get for the money. So the best bang for your buck budget, um, best bang for your buck, Budget button lock knives come from Sencut. So you can't go wrong with either any one of these three. This is the Crowley, the Sencut Crowley, a drop point blade with multiple different deployments with the thumb stud action. It does come in different colors and handle materials. D2 steel, amazing, amazing action. They perfectly tune the detent on this. I mean, it is so snappy. Then um, like I said, you can't go wrong with any one of these. I'll let you know which one my favorite is, but this is the Sakshi right here. This one comes in 9CR 18MOV, somewhat of a drop pointish, spear pointish blade, micarta scales. All of them have T8 hardware all the way around and a reversible deep carry clip. But again, fantastic action from a button lock. And so far, all of mine have been extremely solid. But my favorite probably out of these three is probably the Watauga. This one's the Sakshi. This is the Watauga with the worn cliff blade shape. Um, great ramp. I, I, I struggle between these two because I really like the Sakshi's blade shape. So, you know, it's tough for me. I go back and forth. But the Watauga is um, at the very moment of filming this in this second. <laughs> I'm going to say it's my favorite. Um, beautiful geometry. Um, nice stone washed finish, great ergos. I love I could choke up real easily. Again, multiple deployments with the fuller and button, or sorry, and flipper tab. Yeah, reversible deep carry clip, T8 hardware all the way around. Super solid, super snappy. Um, this one's in D2 as well, I think. Yeah, D2 steel. But those are the button lock knives from Sencut. Next. Speaking of them, we're going to talk about Civivi because Civivi has a deal right now. I got a deal on these two knives. If you want to save yourself some money on these, I'm going to link everything down in the description, including a discount code for you guys. Um, they're, they discontinued these, so they're discontinuing them, so they're, they're going to be selling them on sale. We have the Civivi uh, Bull Mastiff, which is probably my favorite kind of dog. And I'll tell you what, man. Uh, this thing's pretty awesome. Um, I guess because I never got to try it until recently. So, you know, I guess I didn't give it as much credit as it probably deserved. But extremely comfortable flipper tab. Fantastic flipping action. Good access to the lock bar. Fall shut. Fall shut action. We do have the fuller that you can thumb and reverse flick. Beautiful sharpening toil and plunge grind. You can get them nice and tight to the edge. Um, extremely, extremely comfortable. And then the geometry is insane. The cutting geometry is really, really good on this. I just can't get it to focus. There we go. It is super thin and passes through materials very, very well. So if you haven't tried this and you want to before they're all gone and you can't get them no more, with a 35% discount, um, discount code is Neves Knives 35 Also, you have the Relic, which the Relic has a little Easter egg because it has tweezers in the handle. So that's a cool little feature. You don't see that as much as you used to. That used to be pretty common on a lot of knives, or not a lot, but some knives. Um, but the Relic has flipping action. It is only a flipper. However, because of the stone wash, it is very easy to reverse flick. Good access to the lock bar, very smooth on the drop. Good flipping action, very neutral ergos. So no matter what direction you're holding this knife in, it's gonna work good. Um, it is a clip point, but a straight clip point. So utility cuts are still gonna be good. And yeah, you don't have a ton of belly. So this is a very useful um, clip point blade shape. Some clip points are just not that useful for EDC, but in this case it is. My card is scales, but they do have different options as well. So yeah. Check that link out down in the description if you want to save yourself 35% uh, off on either one of these models. Let's talk about a couple Kaisers. The Kaiser Dukes. 
And we'll talk about the Kaiser Roach. So the Kaiser Dukes is a model that I believe they recently discontinued. Uh, but there are still some available. You can still get them. I will link it down in the description. And I have to say, it's one I'm glad I have. Mine um, wasn't the best the best because it did come with a couple issues, which I don't think it's not common or anything like that, but mine did. And I still absolutely love it. This flipping action, it rockets out. You almost feel like it's assisted. It's so snappy. And people would say, yeah, of course it does. Look how big that flipper tab is. I don't even care. It works so good. It's got a full, almost a full, 90% hollow grind. So the hollow goes all the way up almost all the way up to the very spine of it. They have this groove that goes down the top. It's a very useful blade shape. The clip works great. It's not deep carry, so it winds up being pretty comfortable in the hand. And it's just a small EDC knife, but damn it, it's a good one. Now this guy, again, like we were talking about earlier with the action, this flipper tab has such good action. It's so snappy, but you have the reverse flicking action. And if you don't like flipping action, you can take the flipper tab off. The flipper tab is removable. You just have to take this scale off right here and then you can unscrew it right there and the flipper tab will pop off. And that'll also give you a little bit better ergos because you won't have the flipper tab in between your two fingers. But I will say, even with it on there, it's very comfortable in the hand and that way you get multiple deployments. I like it with it on. Um, the flipping action is incredible, and with the reverse flicking action, it just, man, so snappy. Then, the most beautiful thing about this knife, this, this grind, it is a nice, deep, hollow ground spear point blade. I love a good hollow ground spear point blade. Perfect plunge grind and choil, and this thing is mega slicey. So much leverage down into that tip. The utility cuts are great. It's got this honeycomb pattern on the scales. It does come in different materials as well. Deep carry clip. Good access to the lock bar. Very easy to disengage it. Smooth on the drop. Not false shutty, but it is nice and smooth. But yeah, what an awesome knife. Next the Kubi Raven. But if you want to save some extra money, uh, White Mountain Knives right now has a bunch of Kubis on sale. I think 25% off, plus I have a 10% discount code, Neves Knives, that you can use as well, so you can stack that. Um, they don't have every Kubi model on there, but they have a bunch of Kubi models on there, so go and check out what they have for sale 25% off on White Mountain Knives, and then save yourself an extra 10% off, so you're 35% off. That's pretty cool. Uh, but this one I didn't see on there. This is the Kubi Raven. I think this is an awesome, awesome knife. It's already a great deal anyways. I will link it down in the description. But titanium milled pocket clip, flipping action, Aus 10 blade. They do have other versions with different steels, I believe. But reverse flicking action, or thumb flicking, obviously drop point blade and it's somewhat of a, a budget tactical knife every time i look at it it just looks super tactical to me and it you know it works in multiple different grips um and it's a useful knife um really good build quality so every time i pick it up you know it's a you know it's just kind of um not surprising but when i pick it up i'm like man this thing is really good quality um, it just, it's never failed me. It's always been really good. Always been rock solid. T8 hardware all the way around. Good access to lock bar. Decent sharpening toil. I've sharpened it already a couple times. So, but yeah, awesome, awesome knife. And it does come in different options, like I was saying. Next, and we'll go through this one pretty quick because I just did a full video on the Cold Steel Verdict. Um, it is a budget cold steel knife with 41 16 stainless steel. First time of me getting to try it, but it's basically like a, a Benchmade bug out size, Hogue Deca size cold steel with a triad lock. So it's going to be an extremely strong, extremely tough EDC knife that's um, nice and compact and light. A reversible deep carry clip that is in set. We have thumb stud action, but you can and you can easily dis excuse me, disengage it with one hand. So you don't have to worry about using two hands. You just put your finger all the way up there at the top. You have that little spot right there. 
that hits your finger, then you close it. Pretty cool. And yeah, nice little tough, lightweight EDC knife from Cold Steel. The Cold Steel Verdict. And now this one's going to be a little bit more pricier, but I wanted to throw a USA made knife on there. And I think the Kershaw Knockout is a great example of probably the best, you know, this and the, the bare knuckle is going to be the best USA made knife you can you probably can get under a hundred dollars 14c 28m blade steel multiple different forms of deployment in this case this one is a, an assisted knife but i don't even care it works great and because of the way they have the assist you can still drop it down let it hit the assist and then close it so it's still kind of fidgety even though it is an assisted knife aluminum scales it does have the the sub frame lock, you can see the flag right there. Good access to the lock bar. It is a tough knife. Like mine has been through hell. Um, I used to do construction with this thing. I've done so much with this and you can see it. It's been through a lot, 100% lock up. But from what all, everything that's happened to this thing and how much I've put it through, um, I got to give it credit, man. This thing's pretty awesome. The Kershaw Knockout. And then, last, the Predator. I have to put this on the list. This is possibly the best budget knife you can get. Um, maybe not the best. I don't know. It depends on what you like. However, it has a very strong locking system with this crossbar lock that's done extremely well. It is riding on bearings. The thumb stud action is amazing. Um, it actually has a pretty good detent for a crossbar lock because a lot of crossbar locks don't really have a detent beautiful blade shape that's extremely um versatile for edc you're going to be able to do good utility cuts you're going to be able to cut straps you're going to be able to push forward um this one has the red micarta but it does come in different options as well very smooth it feels rock solid it's a little tank um it does have some weight to it but you know it is more of a work knife in my opinion so i think that it's well deserved weight um but the crossbar lock is nice and grippy and it sticks out a good amount so you have a lot of leverage to pull down on the crossbar lock so it's very comfortable to to disengage and the thumb studs have a little bit of grippiness so they're also very easy to launch out um, because of the ergos you can get nice and tight to the edge for really heavy duty cutting and you know it has somewhat of a straight back to it so reverse grips are going to be pretty good yeah stone washed finish so it's going to kind of hide the scratches at least in this one because they do have a blacked out version as well with a coated blade it does have a deep carry clip, not not reversible, which I think that is their biggest fail because it's a crossbar lock, which is already an ambidextrous lock. So why wouldn't they put a reversible deep carry clip on there? I don't know, but it does have an amazing sharpening twirl. One of the best sharpening twirls you can get. Look at that. Look at how far that plunge grind is away from the edge. You'll never hit that plunge grind. So you, you can sharpen the life out of this thing and it will still look nice and fresh and really good. D2 steel, very affordable, great knife. I'll have everything linked down in the description for you guys to check out prices and, and you know availability and everything. But yeah, it's good looking, works good. And that, that's the thing, it, it's simple, but it works and it, it works great. Um, yeah, there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.